As you can see, I've done absolutely nothing off camera. Absolutely nothing. Okay, so maybe I might have uh, done a little bit. Ugh. The thing I did was add some lumberjacks, plant a couple trees, add two new farms, and redecorate this, because honestly, that slab path looked terrible. But, um, we're getting close to making this Musa have his own little town. Be the president of, he's already president of all these people. He's already got himself a presidential hall with absolutely nothing in it, and, so, and his two ambassadors, the architect and the tradesman. These are absolutely useless. If I had my shotgun on me right now, I'd blow both of your heads off and hire someone new. Stupid. So as you know, every good town, city, even country needs defenses. And what better way to defend your place than the barracks, obviously. So you know the drill. Let's get straight to it. After a bit of readjustment and adding a door, because apparently you're not allowed to do anything unless you add a door to it, we can now add a barracks. And once you do that, any bed you place inside of here will be considered a bed for a guard. And every guard I place, well, they'll go ahead and hang out in here. Oh yeah, you can also add guard posts by placing frames down plus a garden post, and they'll and it'll recognize it anywhere. Anywhere you put the guard post, the guards will stay over there and hang out. So you always want to have good spots for guard posts, like right on a slab. Let's go ahead and have a couple guards over here. Gotta make sure the apartments are well guarded. And yeah, time to move on to the blacksmith. <laughs> Now that the blacksmith building process is completed, you can now grab your smithy from the tradesman and architect. Place that there. Summon a blacksmith. Eventually, whenever they show up, if a nomad spawns. And there you go. Now your blacksmith will come in here. After miners, of course, grab ores. Send them to him. And it will create armor, weapons, and other materials. Now let's move on to the miners. <laughs> Now with miners, it's pretty simple. Just cut out a two by two area, two, 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 two. You know what, just do this. Put a frame on top of it, add this. I would also suggest uh, having some guards down here. 
if you don't, there's going to probably die from zombies if you're not careful. So you want to spawn some miners in, and they will get to work. They will, once they realize, oh, hey, there's some mining paths, they will start going over to them and get to work. Anything they find, they will take back up to storage. Now, let's start working on some meat. Look, I know I told you I wouldn't make pig pens, but seriously, come on, you can't, you can't, you can't expect me not to feed my town without pork. Don't you oink at me like that, mister. I'm sorry, 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 it's for the video, please, please! And, and anyways, um, uh, this is the pens, yeah, there's, there's three, there's also, you can also get chickens, but, uh, we don't want to talk about chickens. Um, anyways, all you have to do is, uh, build, build one of these, yeah, and then put a gate in front of it and, uh, slap that on. And it'll be immediately accepted as the, uh, that pen, yeah, and then you can summon ranchers. They will, uh, they, they will, uh, uh, I swear to butcher. our butcher it's as simple as buying the butcher tab and placing it here and spawning a butcher and now our good pal the butcher once he realizes oh hey here's my shop he's gonna go over to the rancher's animals and he's gonna well he's got that lead for a reason you know and uh yeah some of these poor animals are gonna get slaughtered look buddy i'm sorry i didn't mean to i'm sorry i put you in this situation but you guys it's all gonna be okay it's gonna i can't watch i can't watch i can't watch so you've got a thriving populace and everybody loves you as your fearless dictator i mean president what do you do next what is there possibly that you could create that would make these people happier well for now they're all kind of stupid if you think about it you know how to fix that a library let's get started so oh, i uh completely forgot to record myself uh building the library so uh here it here it is uh i'll give you a quick interior tour um it's it's, it's pretty simple um but anyways you get your library thing put a frame over top of a door make sure you have the bookshelves and places to sit and there you go there's a library now your people will come here and read on the random occasion which will make them happy happiness is great and that ladies and gentlemen is everything you need to know about building a town to become president Besides, if you want to build a school, but who builds schools? That's for nerds. I don't have any children out here to learn anything. These, these, guys get, these guys can get smarter by going to the library. It doesn't really matter to me. Well, yeah, it's also raining outside, so that's nice. Our moose has now become a dictator. He is now ruling over a small town of people who have absolutely no idea he controls everything they do and can kill them at a moment's notice with a shotgun he stole from a Doom Slayer. But, of course, there's always never an end to a story. If you enjoyed today's video, then good for you. I hope you've enjoyed watching me run around, build things, and talk about a moose becoming a president. It was pretty fun, and it was only a two-part series, but hey, I might do other things like this. Minecraft's pretty fun to mess around in, especially when you have mods and you have a moose that you can, you know, basically turn into anything. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. If you did, good for you. And I will see you next month. <laughs>